New Clinton email dump reveals frightening depth of corruption. RRJ reports, a new batch of Hillary Clinton's emails has just been made public and the depth of corruption it reveals is nothing short of frightening. The first thing the dump revealed is that Hillary Clinton sent and received way more classified information on her private email server than we previously feared. That alone is tantamount to treason, or at the very least, a grave threat to national security. She's been lying concerning this. But what else Judicial Watch found in the thousands of newly declassified emails demonstrates Hillary Clinton's absolute disregard for the law. She believes she's above the law. And this woman was almost president. From 100% fed up, we have this reporting. These shocking new Hillary Clinton emails show why the Justice Department should re-evaluate, reopen, or reinvestigate, reinvigorate Clinton Inc. investigations. This is what Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said on Thursday. Quote, the casual violation of laws concerning classified material and noxious influence peddling show the Clinton State Department was corruption central in the Obama administration, end quote. According to Judicial Watch, on December 6, 2010, Hillary Clinton shared classified information with non-U.S. government employees Justin Cooper, an aide to former President Bill Clinton, and Clinton Foundation Director Doug Band. The email allegedly shows Hillary Clinton instructing her aide to print the correspondence, which involved allegations of theft by Bangladeshi banker and Clinton Foundation donor Muhammad Yunus. Yunus was accused of embezzling $100 million from the Grameen Bank, which he founded. Judicial Watch's new emails appear to show multiple Huma Abedin email exchanges from an unsecured server. They also appear to show that Hillary Clinton's then scheduler, Lona Valmoro, forwarded Hillary Clinton's daily Secretary of State schedule to top Clinton Foundation officials, along with a number of favors they were requesting. In a May 10th, 2010 email between Huma Abedin and Doug Band, Abedin said she, quote, hooked up people from the Russian American Foundation with the right people at the State Department, end quote. The Russia American Foundation was then staffed by Hillary Clinton political supporters, according to Judicial Watch. Yes, the Russian American Foundation with Hillary Clinton's people. Additional documents allegedly showed that Chelsea Clinton emails, an email sent by Clinton, that is Hillary Clinton to Huma Abedin, saying she did not wish to fly on the same plane with former First Lady Michelle Obama to the Betty Ford funeral, and an email chain between Hillary Clinton staffers showing they drafted a, quote, doctor's statement, end quote, as to why Mrs. Clinton fainted due to dehydration causing her to hit her head and suffer a concussion in December 2012. Judicial Watch's emails show that the same group, including Cheryl Mills, Huma Abedin, Jake Sullivan, and Philip Raines, prepared a dis uh, discharge statement when she was released from the hospital. Okay, so this, this is big and it's developing. And uh, of course, an investigation should be reopened into this this is on Conservative Post by RRJ.